Sorry? Can't hear you for that truck, sorry. I'm taking pictures of the building so I know what names is occupying them at the time. Why do you need to know that? Uh, I'm looking after the wildlife in the area. Alright, okay. Uh, yeah, you're the owner here of this no, business. He's not in today. He's not in. What's his name? Um, Adam. Adam. He's one of the directors. Do you know if they've got any plans to put out uh, some bird boxes or squirrel feeders? No. Do, do they have meetings? Do they, they, have, have, me they have AGM meetings. Alright. Right. For the whole business park. For the business park. Would you be able to. Uh, because on the business park over there, that, that's the same as this one. The one, no, not the red one here, not that one. The other one over the other side. Okay. They've all got bird feeders and squirrel feeders out. Each business looking after the wildlife, you see. And on this park, yeah. two years I've been checking. There's absolutely nothing. So. Uh, well, you need to speak to Adam. Uh, well, can you can you leave my memo? Because I only get here once every six months or so. Have you got a card or anything? No, 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 I'm not a business. Well, 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 uh, I can't do it then. I can't, I can't tell it. I'm not into Tuesday and I'm not into Tuesday Tuesday. Just leave him a memo asking him to spend a bit less on biscuits for the staff and some more on nuts for the squirrels. That's simple, isn't it? Yeah. What you've got to bear in mind is where you're standing now is the squirrels and the birds' habitat before this building was here. So it's only fair to, to give them a bit of food now and again, isn't it? We throw stuff out windows at the back. Hey? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think... He'd have to go to the AGM, so I don't know. I'm not sure they would do it. No, the estate won't do it. They've told me to F off many times. Yeah. It's down to the, it's the individual businesses over there that are doing it, yeah. you know, off their own back. I'm not sure that we would do it, but I can ask. Yeah. How much does he turn over here? I, I, I don't know, and I don't... I, I don't... I have no idea. Is the accountant in? Well, why would you need to speak to the accountant? To find out what they turn over here. But, but then she wouldn't tell you anyway because it's nothing really to do with you, is it, what we turn over here? Freedom of information. No, mate. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, no. Yeah, the squirrels have a right to know how much this company's making. Do yeah? No. I bet, uh, do you donate to animal charities? No. No, I bet, I bet there is people in here that do, but oh, well, yeah. nobody cares about the squirrels and the birds right on their doorstep. No. You donate to them charities, it just goes in the, the director's back pocket. Here, all you've got to do is buy a little 2 99 plastic thing, hang it on the tree out the back, bag of nuts, mix well, bud feed. Sure. It doesn't cost a lot, does it? Oh, you'd have to speak to Yeah, well, no, you're leaving him a memo, aren't you? Yeah, but what, um, what I came up for is if he needs to take pictures of the units and the names and bang on the door and ask first. Oh, no, I don't have to do that. You have to do that. I don't. Yes, you do. What? Two years I've been coming here, and I've never done it once yet. Well, I would say that Just leave that memo for Richard, yeah? It's called Adam, actually. Adam? Adam. You said Richard. No, I didn't look at Adam. Did you? We haven't got anyone called Richard. Nobody here called Richard? No one called Richard. You've never had anyone. What's the accountant's name? Pardon? What's the accountant's name? Our accountant? Yeah. It's a company in the that we're dealing with. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, which one? Because I can get freedom of information from them, you see. I'm not going to tell you that, am I? I'll get one of my other directors to come down and I'll talk to you because I think your attitude stinks. My attitude stinks? My attitude stinks, he says, guys. I'm concerned about the squirrels and the birds and my attitude stinks. Oh dear, right. Carry on with what I'm doing. <sighs> Come on, I've not got all day. Come on.
Sorry? I think I just said it, you're right there. So you're asking some questions about the company? Yeah, squirrel feeders. Squirrel feeders. What exactly did she tell you? Well, you've come bounding down there. I think she's told you that I'm trying to break in or something. No, to a certain extent, there was somebody else there asking strange questions about bird feeders and that. Why is it strange? Well, because generally we don't have them around here. What, squirrels? No, bird feeders. Oh, no, that's why I'm here. All oh, right. So you're one of the directors? Yes. Which one are you? Richard or Adam? No, there's no Richard. I'm Gary. You're Gary? Yeah. Well, another name to remember. It's getting too confusing. Right, what I'm doing is, I'm going from business to business, seeing who's putting out bud feeders and squirrel feeders to look after the, the wildlife in the area, and who isn't. Yeah? Right. So. Has it been asked by the estates? No. See? No. No. They tell me to F off. Well, we don't, we're not, well... I don't know anything how the estates run. <coughs> Adam deals with that. But I know that we're not allowed to put food out or anything because we have a problem with rats and that's why there's rat boxes around the place as well. Yeah, rats can't climb the trees to the bud no, feeders. That's, it's not the point that that's food getting knocked off them and things like that. Who's going to knock so, it off? Well, the birds themselves. Well, over on the other estate, over behind that building there, all the businesses there have all got squirrel feeders and bud feeders out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for it. But it has to go through the estates team and then it's everybody that's buying. They haven't had to go through the estate. Well, They've all done it off their own back and out of their own budgets. Well, that's down to them then. But so Adam won't do that, no? Well, I don't know. Is he a tight ass? No. Right, if you can have an attitude like that, you can get lost. I can get lost? <laughs> <laughs> You've got the attitude. No, you just called him a tight ass. I'm I'm, no, I didn't call him one. I asked if he no. is one. No, he's not. There's a difference. No, there's, there's no a difference. Place. Just do one. A bit less biscuits and some nuts for the squirrels. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking loopy. He's fucking loopy him. She grasped me. I suggest you just move, mate. Move? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I've asked you to. What, and I'm supposed to comply? No. I'm asking you politely to leave. What exactly did you tell that guy? He's come out with a bit of an attitude. Yeah. He's taking pictures and asking questions about the company. I'll let you Squirrels. Go. If you're going to come out. No, you're talking about accountants. And turnover. Yeah. Forget it. Just come in. So. Come in. Come on. Right. So. Am I not allowed to ask questions? You're a fucking weirdo, man. I'm a fucking weirdo? Yeah. Really? Yes. Are you come sure? On. I can see that you're doing that. Oh. Doing what? Filming me. Filming you? Yeah. <coughs> Without my consent. Without your consent? Yes. This is my witness. Yes. Without my consent, you're this filming This is my me. witness against people like you. Really? Yeah. I suggest you move. Because people like you phone the police and I tell a load phone, of bollocks. I'll phone the police. And tell them a load of bollocks. And you've been harassing our staff. Harassing? They yeah. come out to me. Because you were staring through our windows. Through the clear glass? Staring through the windows. Through the clear glass? Questions. Through the clear glass? Just move. I'm going nowhere, boy. Really? Yeah. Come on, Al. Come on. Really? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Call yeah. The yeah. Come on. Call the police. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me, dude. Dude. Right. Faggot. Faggot. Move. Ooh, move me. No bottle. Bottle. Move me. Bottle. Move me. You don't know who the fuck I am. You don't know who the fuck I am, pal. Really? Yes, really. Yeah. I'll fucking drop you. Drop me. So you want me to put my camera down, boy? Do you? Get in. Want me to put my cameras down? Do you want me to put my cameras down? I'll drop you. Who do you think you are? You're the pussy running up the stairs. Don't hold me back. Little old women holding him back. Don't hold me back. Come on! Pussy. Pussy. You, pussy. Pussy. Pussy! Come on, Pussy! Come on, Pussy! Come on, hey! Look! Cameras are down, hats off! Jackets off! Come on! Pussy! No? No, I didn't think so. I don't know who you are! No. 
I'm going to ring the police. I've been threatened by that man. By that pussy as he ran up the stairs. He let this little old woman hold him back. <laughs> Don't hold me back. Pussy. Right, guys. See how tough he is. He's watching. So we'll go around the back of this building out of the way. He says, I know you're filming. Fucking battery's flat on my body cam. <laughs> Divvy. No bird feeders around here, guys. Absolute ling, man. Here comes a pussy boy. Come on. I'll drop, he says, guys. Only thing he'll be dropping is his fucking pants. And he goes cottaging after work. Gonna drop me and jump on my camera. It's funny that guys, they never take me up on the challenge to put my cameras down when they threaten to drop me or spark me out or knock me out. Guys, when the police turn up, I'm going that way. <laughs>